So, Jurassic World Alive just recently had a really big update called the Brawl Update. Essentially, there are now 4v4 battles, and we're going to check it out today. So let's see, take your top fighters into a 4-on-4 fight. Interesting. Your team will be arranged a 2x2 grid on the battlefield. Swap your creatures between rows. Creatures swapping to the front tree, their swapping ability. Creatures moving to the back are targeted by on escape. During certain events, each row may have a bonus passive ability. And group attacks target the front row. Interesting. Okay. So, looks like we've got some legendaries. Mostly with two epics being blue and T-Rex. Must say, when I first heard about this mode, I was really glad that uh, it was mostly legendaries because I was afraid that Dilarakyrus or Rexy would just completely take over the game, but luckily, they are not in this mode. And it seems like the front row gets an armor bonus and the back row gets a critical chance bonus. So, here's what I'm thinking. Konkuisaurus, you know, it's got a taunt and it's also got the, the group hastening attack which boosts your speed. So if we pair it with um, the T-Rex, then we can boost our speed right away um, and get a big hit off. I'll put Tyrannosaur Doe in the back. She's got her Maternal Roar, which boosts critical chance, and Keeley. She's got Nullification. And then I'll put Fukui Mimus. Uh, that's always a hard name to pronounce, um, for some healing. Uh, unfortunately, most of my legendary creatures aren't very high level, but, you know, we'll just see how this goes. And, um, okay, it's kind of taken a while to load. This is a new game mode, so I'm not going to be surprised if there are some, uh, bugs or glitches. But, uh, hopefully we can actually get... Oh, okay, here we go. So let's see, how does this work? Okay, they've got... Okay, so we've got some interesting creatures here. So, it's kind of like a raid with the turn icons being there. Uh, it's a little confusing, but you know what we'll just make do. Okay, so we'll start with the hastening, boost our speed. Just go for a group attack and try and take out their front row before they can move. Um, okay, this person's still thinking. All right, so their Alloraptor goes first. Oh, we might lose Doe right away. I don't know if we will survive this. Okay, that was close, but we are alive. Okay, so that's interesting. So it looks like even though group attacks will target the front row, just single target attacks can target the back row. So that's good to know. Here's the key thing. So we've boosted our own speed. So yep, okay, so now in the turn order, we can see that the T-Rex is now moving next instead of their Konkuisaurus. And we've taken out there in Kalamolok already. Interesting. So, okay, so he does get two counterattacks, which is two devour heals that could stack up. He's getting his own hastening move. But I think our own counterattack is going to take him out. Nice. Okay, so now I guess we can target the back row with our group moves. Oh, and we get an attack boost. That's nice. So overall, I think this is a pretty good turn one for us. Going for our uh, Fukui Mimus, but we survive. Um, that damage over time I don't think is going to matter. Oh, okay, so we get another attack boost to the front. Okay, so our T-Rex is now just incredibly powerful. Especially because that just gave a critical chance boost. So yeah, 100% chance to crit on this next attack. Doe hangs on with 79 health. Okay, that's nice. All right, interesting. So that just cleanses the first row, even though we have damage over time in the back. Oh, we might actually lose Fukui Mimus, depending on how much this does. Um, but yeah, okay, so we're up one to four. Okay, we survive. Um, so yeah, we basically got this one in the bag. What's going on? Can I select the other icons? Can I only select the first one? What is happening? Oh, I didn't mean to select that. Hold on back. Uh, we're going to nullify. Just get rid of that devour heal. Um, even though that's kind of overkill at this point. Interesting. So I can't... Oh, wait. Why do these two moves... Okay, so it looks like one of them will target the back row and the other will target the front. That's interesting. Don't really understand that one, but... uh, Okay. 
yeah, there's nothing he can do. So we've won this first round. Um, yeah, it's just, it's over. So we nullify, and then I think Kankuisaurus has enough attack to just take him out. Definitely will. Yeah. Okay. So that is our first victory in Brawl. So we win. So looks like we get an incubator and this new currency, which are called uh, Brawl Crests. Um, and if we actually go over to the shop uh, right now, we can see that there is this own little store. So you can get Tyrannosaur Buck, Tyrannosaur Doe, you can get Omega DNA, you can get Catalysts. Looks like we got 500 off that first one. So Buck and Doe need 1,000. The Omega, just 500, but you know what? I'm going to save up for the Tyrannosaur Doe incubator because um, she's on my team. So that seems like a good use of my crest. But 500 is really generous per battle. I think that with each battle they go down, so you'll get less crests each time. Okay. Um, I can't really think of any dinosaur that I'd want to switch out. Um, um, like Spinoceratops, it's got the damage over time, but it can't heal the group. So Fukui Minus is probably my best bet. I am surprised that I haven't encountered any, like, super high level legendaries. If I had to guess, it's probably because most people stop leveling up legendaries at, like, level 20, because that's when you get the unique hybrid levels. Which is kind of bouncing. Oh, okay. Let's see, we've got the Buckdo. Panthera Blythe. Okay, so that thing can be really annoying um, in singles, but how will that translate to 4v4? I think we're just going to do the same thing. You know, get the speed boost, go for a big hit with T Rex. And um, I will say so, uh, Panthera Blythe, it's evasive hunt, which normally. Um, allows it to just dodge all attacks, which is not only very annoying, but it's in the back row, which means I can just kind of ignore it and target the front row. Um, okay, so this guy's really setting up. That could be an issue, because he's going to get another attack boost from this. This is looking a little dangerous, but luckily, you know, our speed boost should come in handy here. Reduce the speed of his Tyrannosaur does, so ours might get to move first. No, it doesn't look like it. I'm gonna get the counterattack off. That doesn't really matter. And another. Okay, this is getting very dangerous. Um, because that is a lot of attack. Hopefully, we can take him out here. No, but he does lose his Tyrannosaur Doe, and our Doe should be able to take out the Buck with uh, Maternal Roar. So not too worried. He's got. A lot of setup in the back with Thylaconics and Pithera Blythe. However, with greater nullification from Doe, we can at least deal with one of those threats. So we've got a pretty good lead here. So I'm not too, too worried about this. Yeah, that didn't do a lot of damage. And of course, Pithera Blythe gets the dodge. Again, that nullification doesn't really matter because... Apparently all the status effects go to the front row. That's still a lot of damage, but um, okay. W okay, so I think this is just a visual glitch. Yeah, I can select multiple moves. So let's taunt to try and keep uh, the team safe. Um, that heals the front row. Does it, I think that gives them a dodge chance, which could be helpful. So yeah, let's go for that. And then let's just, okay, nice. So we'll nullify Panthera Blythe. So it doesn't have its attack boost and we can hit it. Um, yeah, okay, I'm feeling pretty confident in this one. It said heals, cleanses, oh, okay, only one dot. Okay, so I feel like the healing moves are really confusing in this mode. Um, but we get rid of those positive effects. Oh, this target's Panthera Blight. It was just going to nullify the taunt, so that was kind of a mistake. But that's still a lot of damage. Yeah, okay. So, I think we're pretty good. Take out the Alakonics before it can even move. And... Ooh, are we gonna... No, we should survive this because of the nullification. Yeah. 
Oh, and the armor boost. I forgot about that, right? So the front row has the armor boost that is helping keep the T-Rex alive as well. And yeah, we can now just clean this up. What do you mean zero? What? I... Okay, this is the visual glitches that I was talking about. Okay, so I can go for fierce impact. But what the? I'm not clicking. What? Okay, I'm just selecting moves kind of at random but I think we've still won this. I don't know why that is just showing up. But yeah, take him out a single hit. Okay, so that's another victory. Yeah, okay, so we only get 150 crests this time. So um, definitely last, let's open up this incubator. It is interesting because we got boosts from that incubator, but I haven't seen anyone with boosted creatures in 4v4. So I wonder if it's like the tournament where they just take away boosts or not. I mean, none of my creatures are boosted, so I don't know for certain. Um, okay, why don't we do one more battle? And um, okay, we've got a long load of time. So overall, I feel like this mode is really interesting. It's clearly got some visual bugs and whatnot, um, but nothing that really seems to impact gameplay too much. Uh, I will say there is just a lot going on. So with four creatures and all the moves showing up in one sidebar, it is kind of a lot to keep track of. Um, so there's that. I also feel like, I mean, they said you could swap in between rows, but I haven't really seen anyone using it. Um, I guess with such a small pool of available creatures, like there's less creatures to swap in and on escape abilities, so it doesn't really matter that much. This is taking a really long time to load. Um, but I like the concept. I think it gives us a bunch of like new combos with creatures that we couldn't really explore before. Uh, oh, they've got Panther of Blythe in the front row and Alloraptor. Okay. Um, they've got a lot of defensive creatures in the back and more kind of set up cunning creatures in the front. But I mean, I think our normal strategy of just get the speed boost, do a big uh, hit to the front row. Um, like I don't see any loss in going for that. So we'll just do that. Anyway, like I was saying, um, we get a lot of cool combos like the Kunkui Saurus T-Rex one. Um, I will say just right off the bat, speed is a huge factor in this. Like if you get to move before your opponent and you can just wipe out um, their row, their front row with a group attack and just deny them two moves. That is a huge advantage. Um, okay, good, dose survives. Um, which again, that is why I'm really happy that Dila Rakyris and Rexy are not in this game mode. And I hope they keep it that way because dominant roar and this is a bit of a rant. I think Dila Rakyris is horribly designed. It can just heal up completely which in a mode with multiple creatures is just healing up i guess in this case your whole front row for all the damage that's been dealt we've already taken out alloraptors that's great um and then the speed boost like we said kankui saurus uh, as we can see here being able to boost t-rex's speed so a normally slow creature can just get its hit off right away that is really op so i am glad that they are limiting what creatures can appear also, Evasive Hunt, I just noticed this, because even though they used that move, we lost our doe, but her Maternal Roar actually did damage. So I guess if you hit Evasive Hunt with enough attacks, it loses its dodge. So again, I think Panthera Blythe, and I mean, if they ever add Panthera Tater, the unique hybrid into this game mode, it's not going to be as good. Um, but that is the first time we've lost a creature in battle. And, ooh, depending on who this lethal wound uh, targets, we might be in trouble here. Um, we got our counter ferocity boost, which is good. I feel like T-Rex will be able to take out at least one of these on the next turn. Dang, uh, Fukui Saurus just keeps getting hit with um, the bleeds, but this is actually good because we get that persistent counter. That's another damage boost. Um, it's not its threatened state, so I think we're safe from that move. Yeah, no, it's, it's over the threshold of 1,300 health. Um, maybe we taunt here? That's a lot of health recovered. 
Yeah, okay, so we're going to taunt. Also heal up any extra health. Um, we want to get rid of this damage uh, over time. So let's try and do that. And then, yeah, just hit him with the Fierce Rampage. Um, oh, what? Wait, they do it? Oh, that's right. It is still a priority even when it's in alert or threatened or whatever. Secure or threatened. Ooh, okay, so we've... Yeah, I think we've lost T-Rex. Yeah, got stunned. Uh, who is this instant Ren going to target? Because if it targets a T-Rex... Oh, uh-oh. Wait, this is getting close. Um, but we do have the taunt, so... I don't think these guys have a taunt immunity. I'm not certain. But all attacks are going to be going towards Kinkuisaurus, who has the counterattack that can heal it. Oh god. Right, this is not looking great, because we have not touched that Spinoceratops. Um, and, yeah. Oh wait, okay, we have Group Cunning Rampage. Okay, that gets rid that gets rid of the bleed, so that's good. They're bracing, but that only targets Spinoceratops. So that's not going to help the Incalamolic, so... And it's at full health, so we basically get a free turn here. Yeah, okay, so we brought him down to half. And does this KO? Oh yeah, with the crit. I, that crit might have mattered, I'm not certain, but... Okay. So just down to Spinoceratops, we have a two-creature advantage. I think we have won this. Yeah, we'll get a speed boost, although we're already moving first, and I think this will do enough damage. Um, but let's see. Oh, instant Ren. Take us out. I don't think it matters because we will be moving first. It's showing the vulnerable, like, animation on my Kinkui Saurus, but I, I can't believe I still have that status effect. Like, Fierce Rampage should cleanse it. Um, and I haven't been hit with a vulnerable move, like, at all. Yeah, vulnerable. I don't understand. But anyway, we did win, which is great. Um, and yeah, getting the four, uh, the four KOs uh, for each one, that is huge. Because um, that just allows you to unlock the Daily Battle Incubator a lot faster than PvP. So that's nice. Um but yeah, I feel like this team that I've got here is pretty good. It's not super high level, but luckily I don't I haven't come across any overleveled people as of yet. Um and I'm definitely going to keep going to level up dough using the battle crests, um which does take a lot. I think it was a 1000 to get the incubator. Um so it is a lot. Overall, I think this mode has a lot of potential. They definitely got to clean up some bugs and some visual glitches. Um, but I think as they expand the roster for the amount of creatures you can use, we're going to see a lot more new strategies coming up. Um, and I also think, given that they're limiting the amount of creatures uh, within it, uh, we'll get some new like highlights on creatures that aren't normally used. Which I just personally think is going to make the game a lot more interesting. Until they add a new broken unique that completely ruins the game. But anyways... I hope you guys enjoyed this showcase of the new Brawl Mode, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.